Hey guys, welcome to Mom's Game Room, and today I wanted to start playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So, let's get started. Stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? <sighs> a dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? All right, so let's go ahead and start. Hang on just a minute. Okay. Sorry. Bye, Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Sure. So in this one, we start out inside one of the the worlds, the portals, or whatever, and we're in Glimmer, and then once we finish Glimmer, then, we're, then we'll be in the overworld.
hard to see some of these gems. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. See, in this one, when you kill the bad guys, they don't turn into gems. They turn into these little, like, wisp things. Ah! You must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. I guess Thank we have you, to. Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Here, let's go ahead and Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. <laughs> this magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and finish. Well, not completely finish it, because we can't finish it, finish it. But let's get some more stuff in this world. See, we're gonna have to come back because you learn at one point you learn how to climb and you need that in order to do one of the, the little side quests so we're definitely going to have to come back to glimmer and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. 
You take it instead. Okay, so we got our first orb. Let's go ahead and go to the home world now. Ooh, I see gems. Oh yeah, I can't get to them yet. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the home world now. to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah! They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. All right, here we go. Any gems up there? This is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Yeah, we know all this from the first game.
Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking Great. start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Why didn't he just give me the orb? He's supposed to be, like, on my side. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. So we don't have enough money. Okay, so we have to go into one of the other worlds first. Let's go... Hmm. Let's do this one. I don't think this one has any water in it, so we don't have to worry about... Oh my gosh, I can't see. Colossus. Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. <coughs> Sorry, I do still have a cough. a key when you know how to chant like this. Oh. 
15k. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. <coughs> Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. what I can do. Remember Hunter's advice, you will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of Okay, we know that. gosh there <laughs> even though I'm a vegetarian I think you should torch that Yeti he's pretty tough though in fact I'm not sure you're up to it The Yeti was tougher than that. <laughs> I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Okay, now before we go, let's just grab everything Should we do the side quest? Goodness, you scared that evil spirit away, but now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay, so flame ten statues. Any over here? No.
We have to go out this way. There's one right there. Okay, well, we're not going to do this one. Not yet, anyway. I'm trying to find those statues. How do I get up there? Spyro, you've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Okay, so we got another orb. Let's get the gems that were up here. Trying to figure out where the rest of the gems are. Uh oh. I bet they're up there too. I can't see. Maybe not. I don't know, we'll come back. Okay, let's head back to the home world and end the video.
Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, we completed as much of Glimmer as we could, and we completed as much of Coloss Col Colossus? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Colossus, as we could. Um, right now, anyway. We can always go back um, and get more stuff and do more of the side quests and stuff like that. But, um, okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And um, leave a comment if you want. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!